Hello, my name is John Jackson and I am currently teaching ninth grade modern world history and 10th grade American history at Kang Chow International School. I am originally from Pilot Mountain, North Carolina, and I grew up there until I was 18. Then I went to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, where I did a double major in French and art history and a minor in Asian studies. After that, I did my graduate degree at the University of the Arts in Philadelphia, where I got a Master of Fine Arts in Museum Exhibition Planning and Design. And I spent the following 10 years working in art museums where I was an exhibition designer. However, being a designer, uh, I spent a lot of time in front of the computer and I wasn't really interacting with other people that much. And I really enjoy spending time with other people and wanted a job that was a little bit better suited for my personality as an extrovert. So I decided to become a teacher. And I went back to school at North Carolina State University where I got a TESOL, Teaching English for Speakers of Other Languages certificate. And after that, I began to pursue teaching full time. At the time, I was living in Kansas City, which is actually in the state of Missouri. And I got a teaching license in Missouri and began teaching there before I moved to Taiwan, which was about two years ago in 2020 during the pandemic. I've been living here in Taiwan ever since, and I've taught at cram schools. And last year I taught at a public school, um, but I'm very excited to be at Kang Chow International School because I get the opportunity to teach something that I'm really passionate about, which is history. Uh, my style for teaching is to try to be as lively and engaging as I can with students. I know for certain students, history can be a challenging subject, maybe a little bit boring. So I try to make sure that my lecture is lively and engaged, and I try to make references to things that are happening now in the contemporary world that are connected to what happened in the past with history. And in that way, I hope that I can make students understand that there is a connection between what happened before and what's going on right now. My assessment style is to make sure that students know very clearly what I expect of them. And also when students are doing group work, it's very important for me to go around to each individual group or if there's time, each individual student try to check in with them, see what they understand, see what they don't understand. Because oftentimes if one student doesn't understand something, that's indicative that there are other students who don't either. So I wanna make sure that I address anything that's unclear to the whole group. I really look forward to having all of the ninth and 10th grade students this year in my individuals and societies class. I think it's gonna be very successful and I look forward to getting to know them better and I look forward to teaching them about some fascinating subjects, which are world history and U.S. history. All right. Thank you. Bye.